Hello guys and welcome back to another Dokken video and in this video I have done it day one LR Krillin fully farmed. I do not recommend any of you to do this because it cost me quite a bit of stones, you know just a little bit of stones but I did it for the boys. So anyway yeah LR Krillin, I'm going to show him off a bit, show what I think of him and you know we'll see how it goes. Let me talk about what he does. Okay so first of all he's leader of the earthling category now. Earthling category, kind of bad, I'm not going to beat around the bush and be like, oh, but it's got this, it's got that. Not that good at the moment. It can always be fleshed out, but at the moment, it's not that good at all. I'm sorry, guys, like, leaves go up. This is where it gets good. Okay, so super attack. First one, raises attack and does AoE damage with a medium chance of stunning. Which is crazy, like AoE, free LR AoE, I'll, I'll take that, I will take that any day. Now he's 18 key, raises attack and defense and causes Mega Colossal Now This raising attack and defense, that is infinite. Backing, that means you can take this guy LGE, you can take this guy for those long infinite Dragon Ball history events, he will stack up. But he has some problems. Main problem, I will talk to him in a second, but let's look at his passive. Now, this is a big passive. Now, P plus 3 and defense 30k. He gets that baseline. No matter what happens, he will always start off with 3 key, just how like LR Baby does. So, you know, it's not that hard for him to super attack, even when he doesn't share that much links with people. Attack 20,000 performing a super attack, and an additional 20k when it's the ultra super. So, always getting a bit of a boost. Obviously, he is prime battle, which means it has to be flat boost. They don't give him any percentages, unfortunately. Now, when you're fighting only one enemy where you want to be doing the 18 key, this game's got you. It gives you that plus 3 key to face just one enemy. And if you face more than one enemy, it's still giving that plus 3 key because then you want that 12 key super. Did you attack 10,000 per existing enemy when facing two or more enemies? Last one, secondly, and launches an additional super attack when facing six or more enemies. You know what this means? This guy destroys World Tournament. This guy will do a lot of damage. I'm not going to say he's the best World Tournament unit because he's, I think that goes to Nappa and Vegeta to be honest. But this guy will be doing some damage. I mean, if you can get, if you do a double super, I'm pretty sure you may be able to kill an LR Broly as well. I don't know that yet. I haven't tried him out in World Tournament. I just got him, but that is looking good. Only problem is this now. Three problems. First, this. <laughs> His link set is kind of trash. It's nice he gives himself that free key, but Link's not that good. Doesn't link up with anybody. His links aren't trash, but they're not good in the sense that nobody else good has got his links up. Which is bad for him. And another thing is just two categories. His own category and thankfully enough he gone to full power, which you know is surprising. No explosion of anger, where I mean he did just see Yamcha die, so pretty uh Pretty weird <laughs> that he didn't get into that category, but you know, let's look at what I decided to run him. Now, with these links, I've got him linked up with someone really silly, and but it works. So you'll look at this. So the team I've decided to run is I've got him on the full power team, of course. The reason why I haven't got him on his own Earthling team because it's a bit weaker, and also there is no other LR Krillins out there for me to find as a friend. I have tried. I've spent a little bit of time looking. Even on my stream, could not find another LR Krillin friend. But you know, that's fine. Because I've got his linking partner right here. <laughs> now, you may be thinking, oh, he doesn't link up well. Well, actually, you know, they do link up kind of okay. The reason being is because both of them share two links. Now, you might be saying two links is trash. You know, only two links. But trust me, on the full power team, two links is the highest you can get drilling up with somebody that is also on the full power category so they share rival duo which is 10% attack and minus the enemy's defense and shattering the limit so two, two key and 10% attack but that's not including cooler's passive of 20% attack and defense and key, key plus two so that is his best linking partner surprisingly on full power and you know what as strange as it is you know I'll take it as long as I got it and uh, you know let's jump into an event and see what the LR Krillin is made out of. 
Okay guys, I'm back and I'm in the boss rush 5. I can't really be going into any events I need to spend stamina on because stamina, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to farm right now. But got the rotation I wanted straight off the bat. Now, okay, fighting one enemy so we know we're getting that plus 3 key and look at him. Bang. Is that, is that 15 key? 15 key off the bat, guys. That's him linked up with... Metal cooler, not metal cooler, sorry, golden cooler, but you know, let's check his defense. It's going up by 20%, but remember, that's infinitely stacking as well. And 88k, not bad. He's on rotation with a um, rainbow physical burly, and they are close, they are close. Remember, and this guy will stack. So let's see what this guy's made out of. He is attacking a strength unit, though, so damage may not be crazy off the bat, but you know, let's see how this goes. Obviously, if you have this team, feel free to run it, but. If you have got extreme strength Omega Shen on Easy A, you will be able to see higher numbers. The reason why he's not on my team is because I don't have him. <laughs> so unfortunate for me guys, I'm not too much of a whale. And 1.6 off the bat. Infinitely stacking. I know I sound a bit biased when I say oh, when I go really happy over 1.6 million, but come on. It's Krillin. <laughs> he deserves to have at least one good card in the game. And you know, maybe he'll get a better card in the future, but it's not bad, honestly. Like 1.6 million starting and he will stack up infinitely. That's not bad. The only problem is for many people is that his linking partner for full power is the metal, I mean, golden cooler. If you don't have golden cooler, you may be um, struggling, honestly. Oh, it's a bit unfortunate for people because obviously he comes around what twice a year or something like that and they're always in times when the banner's not really that desirable to drop on like to drag more heroes because everyone wanted to save it for the anniversary but if you got golden cooler definitely you need to try out this rotation because this is so much fun oh no we're against two people so that means i have not got that plus three key but you know what? that's fine because we're going to hit them with that 12 e let's see how it does AoE, oh okay, a bit unfortunate with the key positioning, only one of, which is a bit of a shaft yet, but the, the key, not really good. But you know, this is just for me trying to show off at our Krill in here, and let me see, eh, took some damage there, 1 million on that 12 key, AoE 1 million, not terrible. Not amazing either, but remember, he's a prime battle LR, and double stun, that double stun. Like, honestly, guys, I mean, yeah, double stun does not help here, but if this was Super Battle Road, getting stuns off like that can literally save your life. He doesn't link up with anybody on Super Physical, but, you know, it's always an option. Always an option. And I'm going to get the Burly Transformation. I'm just going to try and skip through this as soon as possible. God, a lot of transformations on this team. Did not think about that, to be honest. Okay. Sure, to be just quickly going through there. I want to get back to that Krillin rotation. Hey guys, let me know what are your thoughts on Krillin. Do leave a comment down below in the section, it does help out. And yeah, because I know some people say he's straight trash, and you know, not forgetting he's a free to play LR, a prime battle one at that, not that hard to farm. And you know. I like him. He's the only Prime Battle LR that you probably can take to the Legendary Goku event without, like, worrying too much because you can just stack and stack and stack and, you know, take some damage here, bloody hell. Did not expect a team like this to be taking that much damage, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Alright, okay, so I'm going to check Krillin's defense stat here now. Remember when he started off, he was at 80k? So not 80k. And he's done two supers now. So let's see where he's sitting at right now. Against one character, got that three key off the bat, and we're looking at oh 62. Hey, what's going on? Why is that so low? <laughs> um that went down low for some reason, I don't know why, but anyways. Let's see what he can do here. Yeah, looking nice. Again. Not the craziest LR, I actually will just... I don't want to take no damage, forget that. But for a free to play unit, I can't discredit him too badly. 
And let's see what he's going to get now, a bit more stacks, 1.69, yeah. As you see, his main utility, obviously, if you're running any difficult events, he's not the best choice you have, but he's a choice you have. Obviously, I mean, he's no, he's no, he's no physical Broly or something, but... War Tournament, definitely, guys, do, I'm going to try him out when we do get the War Tournament. We'll be doing a video on that as well, hopefully, you know, doing a few rounds of testing him out. Yeah, guys, um, for free to play LR, was he worth farming? Definitely, definitely getting farmed. But was he worth wasting about 20, 30 stones on? Not so much. Not so much, but you know, it is what it is. I thought I'd just get it out right now, get the video out. And you know, at least he's on this team because they could have easily just taken him off full power and kept him just on Earthlink, which would have been terrible. But at least he's got like a proper team that he can actually run on. And you know, maybe down the line, maybe not this year, maybe next year, he may get a linking partner, you never know. But overall, I'd say if I had to rank him in, you know, including all LRs, I could give him like a 6, 5, 6 out of 10. Just for his ult, like, since he infinitely stacks, that just shows that he can eventually get to a point where he doesn't take damage. It will take a long, long time, but he get, he'll get that. And that is it, just a little taste of what Billing can do, just a little taste. If people want to can do a Super Battle Road video on him, you know, you man's requesting that Krillin goodness. I mean, look at that art, man, look at that art. So cool, honestly. <laughs> uh, I am a bit of a Krillin fan, if you can't tell, I'm a bit biased. Did main him on Fighters for quite a long time, so yeah. I am biased, I will admit that. That's why I like him as an LR. But you know, I know he's not the best. Obviously, I know that if I'm looking at my lead, if I'm looking at my box right here, I'm not going to be like, mm, what unit do I want to run? Let me run the Krillin. Like, you know, obviously, he's just there for fun. But you know, that's what this game's about. You get to have fun, you get to run those units that you like. That nobody else may hype as much as you, but you know, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. But. As I say that, let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just a little old video for you boys. And this is Kizan, and I'm going to be bouncing out. See you next video, though.